Hi guys, uh, nice to see you again. It's been seems to have been a while since I've uh, filmed the tutorial. Um, as you know, my name is Chip Tomlinson. I'm the videographer for Time the Warrior Collective. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on what I call a pushback drill in Dutch kickboxing. So, Dutch kickboxing specifically is very aggressive. It's very about putting pressure on, forcing someone back, forcing someone to make mistakes. So, a pushback drill is. Uh, a, a kind of combination thought process where you kind of you think about being in the center of the ring, pushing your opponent back, and then looking for the finish when you've broken their posture or you've got them against the ropes. Uh, today I'm repping a few things as you can see. Uh, I've got the higher level martial arts t-shirt on for my good friends in, in Scotland, Dinky Ninjas Fight Team, so I'm repping them today. The equipment you can see myself uh, and my assistant today, Ian Waring, is Punch Town. Okay, so this is a new Punch Town range. If you want any more information on any of it, you can check out Made for Fighters website at www.madeforfighters.com. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. So when when we're doing this, then so we're going to start off. I want to imagine uh, the first part of the drill is you're in the center of the the ring and you it's an initial exchange. So an initial exchange has got to have some balance behind it. You're looking to try and land one of them hard, rock rock them but you're also not wanting to leave yourself exposed. So it's a good idea at this point not to overcommit, but you've got to be fast, you've got to be explosive, and you've got to be creative and change your angles. Okay, so the first part of this drill, okay, so I'll just do it uh, slowly to begin with it, Ian. So we're gonna go left jab, right body roundhouse kick. Soon as he's landed that back, he's gonna push off and throw the right cross, left uppercut, right cross. That's it. So. Again, it's a mixture of angles, um, depending on how the other person reacts, you obviously might even change this, but this is the drill is not so much the combination as in the thought process of uh, kind of mixing it up a little bit. So when you work in the pads, I like to do repetition, so I would use this combination, but obviously, like anything, it's not set in stone. Okay, so just a couple more times. So again, jab, right body kick, right cross, left uppercut, right cross. That's it, okay, a little bit faster, and again, go. Jab, right kick, right cross, left up, right cross. That's it, okay, change places. Okay, so again, starting slow, go jab, right body kick, right cross, left up, right cross. That's it, okay, and again, a little bit faster, and again, jab, right kick, right cross, left up, right cross. That's it, good. Okay, so once we've got their attention, and um, we've, we've got them a little bit wobbled, we can see one of those shots has hurt, or maybe they're a little bit off balance, then we're gonna push forward, okay? So, but when you push forward, it's not so much a great idea just to walk forward, you've gotta be throwing shots, okay? So the, drill, the next part of the drill, and you can practice this on its own, uh, or you can go straight into adding it on. Uh, I like to practice it on its own, okay? So I'm gonna show you on its own to begin with. So I, I'm gonna throw the jab, and he's gonna step forward as he slips to the outside. So he jabs, boom. Now as soon as I've thrown the jab, I'm gonna come pull it back and step back and he goes right cross, left hook. Then I'm gonna throw the cross, he's gonna come and slip forward here, and then as I pull it back, I move back, hook cross. So it's very much about getting used to just moving with the, with the pad work, okay? So again, uh, don't plant your feet and just tend to relax, okay? So again, I go slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross. That's it, and again, slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross. And just switch it. So as you can see, I'm moving back to encourage him to come forward. Okay, you don't want to just stand on the spot when you're doing this. So again, one more time, slow. Slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross. That's it, and again, slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross. That's it. So at this point, you could, put, you could put those two together. You could go jab, kick, cross, up, go cross, and then go straight into that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that once, just put it together now, uh, and then I'm gonna show you the final part of the sequence. So again, from here, jab, right kick, right cross, left up, go, right cross, slip and come forward, cross, up, slip and come forward, up, cross. That's it. So you can see now it's, it's really building up, okay? And again, I'm encouraging my partner to throw volume, be very aggressive. Um, you can obviously attack that low kick, which again, which is very common in the Dutch kickbox system, K1 system. But for now, because we're looking to come forward quickly, we're gonna just stick to those hands, okay? So the final part of, 
of this drill, of this thought process. Now, is my partner's got me back against the ropes with nowhere to move out of the way. Okay, so from here now, he's gonna scissor and throw a left knee to the face. Okay, so he raises his right and he scissors and hits the left knee high. So I'm bringing this down because I want the knee coming up. So I want you to imagine now that your partner's posture and will is kind of broken and for whatever reason they've tucked in here and you're gonna send that knee right up the middle. Okay, so again, scissor left knee. Now as he lands, Rather than throwing a right cross, if someone's posture is like this, he's going to throw a right hook or a right overhand. You know, they're very much in, interrelated anyway, so it doesn't really matter the angle. The hook and the overhand are going to look fairly similar anyway. So, straight into that left, straight into that right, should I say. He's going to pull back into the left, and then he's going to, once he's got my hands high and he's got my posture a little bit broken, he's going to go left to the body, right to the body. And then just to finish now, with the flurry to the head looking for the knockout, he goes right uppercut, left hook, right cross. Okay, so it feels like a really big string, but when you, when you kind of build it all together, uh, it will flow. You've just got to, like I said, what, what we tend to do with this sort of work is, is we'll do drill one side for either a time round, repeating or for 10, 15 repetitions, then the second part, then the third part, and then you can put it all together. So there's a fair chunk of work in this in drilling the mechanics. Okay, so again, just putting it all together. So you go scissor left knee, right, left, body, body, right, left, right. That's it. Okay, a little bit quicker. And again, one, scissor, boom, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's it. Just switching sides. So again, same thing. Scissor left knee, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's it. So once you've practiced that, and again, put that time on repeat it, you'll speed it up, you'll hit nice and hard, you'll, you'll get a nice flow going with it, you'll, you'll feel really strong. So now the job is just put it all together. So I'll put it all together slow, and I'll do one fast, okay? So at this point, you, you may make a mistake, yeah? It is a bit of a string, but just like in sparring, not everything's gonna go according to plan, and this is more of a skill drill rather than a set kind of a pattern that you'd be going for in sparring. It's just to create ideas at each stage of the attack. So again, so we go jab, right kick, right cross, left uppercut, right cross. Slip and come forward, cross hook, slip and come forward, hook cross. Scissor left knee, right, left, body, body, right, left, right. That's it. Okay, and again, once you've got it, like I said, add the speed. Don't think of it too much about power as much as volume. Um, although obviously the power is important, the volume and the attack is, is more what we're aiming for here. And again, so a little bit quicker now, and again, one, down, kick, cross, go, 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 cross, slip and come forward, cross, up, slip and forward, go, go, cross, scissor, boom, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's it. Okay, just water switching sides. So again, just one more time. So all the way through, jab, right, kick, right, cross, left, up, up, right, cross, slip and come forward, cross, up. Cross his left knee, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's it. Okay, good. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope you find it fun to practice. It's a great drill. And the Dutch system and the K1 system is, uh, I'm a big fan of it, okay? It's a very different rhythm to MMA striking, uh, Muay Thai pure Thai boxing, but it, uh, it has its real strength. Obviously it has its weaknesses like anything, but you know, this drill's a nice kind of format for, for giving, giving it a go. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about any of the Punchtown gear, then like I said before, check out Made For Fighters at www.madeforfighters.com. Uh, if you want to give my friends high level, high level martial arts in Scotland a buzz, you can check them out on Facebook. Thanks to Ian for being a fantastic demonstration there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are before in the comments. Give it a like, give it a share. And do check out all the other great instructors and videos on this channel. There are some phenomenal ones. And if you're new to this channel, you've got a lot of catching up to do. If you're in a hold hand, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you. Peace.